Welcome back. I am Pratap here. Today is the 27th December 2023. If this is your first video at our YouTube channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply and demand zone price action course. You can access the training videos from our YouTube channel, Neostock YouTube channel. You click on the home page and then scroll down to the playlist supply demand zone price action course. Just click on this playlist and all the training videos are available under this playlist. Starting from lesson 1.1 in an order all the lessons are available until the most recent lesson. Even the upcoming lessons also available under this playlist. So please make use of this opportunity in order to strengthen your supply demand zone price action skills. Now let us get into our analysis part from our yesterday's high liquidity zones. See, yesterday we have identified three high liquidity zones. One is Nifty 50 and another one is uh, JK Cement and Havels. And Havels, we got a successful trade. But let us start with Nifty. Nifty demand zone is there. This is a, a all time, sorry. This is the sub supply zone at the all time high and which has been uh, violated today this supply zone. But yesterday, this zone is shown in high liquidity zones, 75 minutes high liquidity zone. This is a rally candle with a hidden body, two base candles and a drop candle. But if you look into the 15 minutes time frame, So here we have a drop, base and drop. Let me draw the zone. This is the 15 minute zone. But if you look into the 5 minutes, look into the price structure. See the candles. Assume this is one of these candles is like candle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All these are all base candles. Then leg out, but it is not a great leg out. After that, the follow through candle is also not great. And today this zone is easily violated. And after that, this entire zone is violated. Because the structure of this 5 minute zone is not very clear. The structure of these 5 minute candles are not clear. That's why always we have to focus on price structures. Price structure is a very, very important concept. So price structure is not, not uh, convincing. So such kind of zones will be violated easily. So we've been discussing this point for several times during our discussions because we all know when a zone will be violated. We have already discussed about uh, that concept. So that's why Nifty 50 is not a valid trade. Now let us look into the next stock, uh, JK Cement. This is a high, daily high liquidity demand zone. And today prices did not enter into this demand zone. That means we did not get the trade. And the next one is Havels. We got a very good profit in this. This is the next high liquidity zone, but this is a 75 minute supply zone. So look into this 75 minute supply zone. We have a leg candle, base candle, and again a leg out, a drop candle. It means a drop based drop. And this drop based drop is a 75 minute zone. According to our high liquidity zones concept, this 75 minute zone should be fine tuned with 15 minutes time frame inside the 75 minutes. So this is the 15 minute zone. We have a rally candle two base candles and then we have a drop candle. That means this entire area we can divide, we can consider as a 15 minute zone. 
and another thing is these candles also looking like these candles also looking like medium size like candles if that is the case if that is the case there is no clear zone in this area that's why you can observe in the 5 minutes but directly go, without fine tuning 15 minutes properly and directly going to the 5 minutes is not really a good choice in that case the only option we are having is finding the origin from where the actual move has started so this is the origin here we have a rally candle two base candles and a drop candle the lagout is not great small one again another base another drop candle again another base another drop see again another uh, lagout i mean lagin candle base again lagout see they keep on created some supplies let me show you how all these supplies are there so among these three which supply you have to take 5 minute supply this is the biggest question for most of the people okay we have multiple why we are why we have a ambiguity here because the 15 minutes zone is not clear this is a no doubt this is a high liquidity zone we have multiple 5 minute supply zones we don't know which supply is having a strong order flow if you look into this so when prices reached there were small rejections here see here prices entered it has been prices has been down that means it pushed the prices down but its strength is not enough good enough to reach the 15 minutes target look into this top most one this is the actual origin that is what i am trying to say this is the actual origin see the push from here now you should get a doubt in your mind why this particular supply zone he is not able to push the prices so fast compared to the top most one the reason is that when the demand is strong this is a supply zone but when the demand is strong see the demand is how it is pushing the prices up so in the in this existing demand this supply is on pending orders consumed most of the demand next time again prices enter this time because prices already look into the price structure here and the existing prices consumed most of the pending supplies supply orders here that means pending short orders they consumed next time it is easily broken and because it consumed the existing supply it consumed the new demand now the new demand is also the strength of the new demand is also went down so next time when prices enter into the top most supply zone this is the actual origin from where the move has started and by the time prices reached here the existing demand is most of the existing demand is weakened see now the push when the demand is weakened the pending orders pushed the prices till its 15 minutes zone after that even further went down that is a different story but it reached our target why we have a struggle in selecting these zones because the 15 minutes time frame is not very clear look into the 15 minutes the 15 minutes is not very clear because the 15 minutes is not clear and bypassing the 15 minutes and directly you are moving on to the 5 minutes generally what we do we don't take directly on the 5 minutes that is the reason why we identified the origin the origin where the actual move has started see there is a big lag out and after that prices are started moving down by creating multiple 5 minute supply zones this is the first supply zone this is the second supply zone this is the third supply zone this is the fourth supply zone that way prices have been moved when again when prices are moving up 
all the supplies one by one has to be broken and finally by the time it reaches to the top most supply zone the existing demand will be weakened so that's that, that is the reason why by the time it reach this particular the top most supply zone we have higher chances of getting the success that's why we have to plan our trades here but here we have a, another problem is there what is another problem suppose we are planning our trade in this particular top most supply zone but when prices entered into the second one let us assume because we are waiting our we are placing our order on the top most because that is the actual origin let us assume prices entered here we didn't place our orders here because assuming this will be violated very soon but instead of this violation let us assume today the prices started moving down from here let us assume today luckily we got an entry on the top most and reached the target let us assume without reaching the top most if prices enter into this zone and started moving down if that is the case we would have missed our trade sometimes that is also possible because you are you are expecting prices to reach up to its actual origin from where the move has started but the supply below that also might push the prices down today because the demand is very strong today that's why prices are able to reach up to the top most one but sometimes there is a possibility that the prices from this particular supply zone prices will further will come down if that is the case can we take an order in the supply zone my answer is it's a high risky why high risky because 15 minute supply is not very clear for us that is the problem here so that's why you have to always look for the zone that gives you higher success rate why the top most supply zone gives higher success rate because by the time prices reach here the existing all these this is the first supply zone this is the from the bottom this is the first supply zone this is violated by the time this supply zone is violated some of the existing demand has been consumed again sup second supply zone so by the time the this sec this second supply zone is violated some uh, some some more existing demand is consumed and by the time prices reach reaches here now demand is less but supply is more the pending orders why demand is less because uh, before reaching the supply zone the remaining two supply zones below them they already consumed most of the demand the pending orders in these two supply zones consumed the new demand because today's demand is very strong maybe it's because of the market or maybe because of some other reasons related to the script but that is the reason why always you have to wait patiently what time prices reach into this zone somewhere around 10 o'clock 40 minutes it reached that much patience should be there so the moment see there see at one point of time i thought maybe oh, i know this is not the right supply zone to take the entry at one point of time i thought okay i missed the entry here somewhere here i thought maybe prices will further move down and reach the demand zone that was my impression thought that we i missed this entry but see what happened before reaching the target prices moved back and violated the supply zone and finally reached the actual the origin from where the move started why we are saying the top most one is the origin because that is the actual that is the place where the first supply is created in this entire move this is the next to second supply this is the third supply so the origin from where the move has started might be having higher success rate because today we got all these problems because the 15 minute supply is not very clear so this is the way havels has given 7925 rupees profit which is 6.58% roi so this is a very havels is a very good trade look into the 15 minute zone let me delete them
the biggest problem is these candles are not very clear when you want to consider this both these candles if you consider your 15 minute zone and 75 minute zone are almost the risk is same in both the zones that's why we have gone by bypassing this 15 minute zone we went to the 5 minute zone when you bypass the biggest problem is always you get multiple zones in the, when you get these multiple zones which zone you have to select that is going to be a big problem most of the time we take our decision based on some price action clues yesterday also I explained if you buy if you bypass one zone and and jump to the next level the biggest problem is when you find so many lower time frame zones which zone is having real really a success you might be getting a doubt for that the price action clues you need to follow and today you learn one more point what is the one more point finding the actual origin from where the move has started so this is the origin from where the move has started that way you can give priority to that particular supply by ignoring the remaining supply zones in this zone and ignoring always gives you an advantage the reason is if all these supply zones are violated the advantage is the existing demand has consumed and by the time our actual origin the prices reaches most of the demand is weakened and the pending orders in the supply zone easily pushed the prices down that is what we have seen here that is one choice there is another choice is also there suppose you you are believing that this supply zone is also having a strength because sometimes there is possibility prices reach here and from there it will come down that means in that case you never get entry on the top of the zone so if that is the case you take an entry if the zone is violated you bear this stop loss and again next time when prices reach into this zone again take the next entry that way also you can plan suppose let us assume if you would have taken an entry here so uh, see actually it has given a very good return but it didn't reach narrowly missed in reaching our target and again prices turn back and the zone is violated so you have to accept the stop loss you accept the stop loss the moment prices reached this zone take next entry don't hesitate that means you have to plan two trades one trade in the supply zone another trade in the supply zone when you have to plan like this in case if you are believing this supply zone won't be violated because it is not going to be violated just you are assuming it is not going to be violated you never get an entry in this zone that's why you don't want to miss the entry in this zone in such kind of situation manage your risk properly minimize uh, keep a minimal stop loss then you take an entry even if it is violated your stop loss is very minimal you can ignore see in the next trade you got a very good profit from this profit whatever the stop loss in the, has been uh, uh, i mean you have been got from the supply zone because of its violation and uh, if you deduct that value still your profit margin will be much better instead of 7925 maybe you would have got around 7000 rupees profit see these are the different techniques you should follow based on your risk management you know some people if a zone is violated they run away from the trading for that particular day such kind of people should not take such kind of trades these are all aggressive trades generally we take aggressive trades with some price action clues but this is an aggressive trade without a price action clue just only based on our belief you want to take a trade why you are believing prices this zone won't be broken why you are believing maybe there is another supply zone here which has been violated you might be thinking that is enough the above the supply zone is good enough to 
hold the prizes. That way you may feel sometimes. But today what happened? Two supply zones are broken and the final, the topmost one is the third one. By the time prices reach there, your demand is weakened and existing pending orders in the supply push the prices down. So this is a very important concept. But only based on what to say, only based on your, uh, your experience and your uh, better way of thinking uh, in the, what to say, I mean, a better way of visualizing the movements in the market. All these things together will help you to take a decision where to take your trade. Why I'm saying the topmost one is the safest? There are two possibilities. Worst case, you miss the entry. Prices won't reach that zone. You miss the entry. So anyway, you don't get any loss. Of course, you don't get profit, but you don't get loss. In case if prices reach us here, that is what happened today in this trade. Definitely, you get a very good profit. Why you are believing at least one of these zones will work? Because this is a high liquidity zone. Because this is a high liquidity zone, somewhere in one of these zones, more pending orders will be there. So this is about Havels, because it is a very important discussion, because you learned about finding the origin from where the actual move has started. That is the concept you learned from this stock. So these are, these, the, uh, these are the high liquidity zones we identified from our yesterday's list. Now let us generate the demand and supply zones. Starting from yearly, let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone. Mostly you won't be getting. And yearly time frame, let us generate for yearly supply zones. So we didn't find any. Half yearly, we identified one, one stock yesterday, right? Same, most probably same will be continued. Half yearly time frame, stocks near half yearly demand zone. Yesterday we identified one, but today, no. And half yearly time frame, let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone. So one stock is there. And quarterly zones, quarterly time frame, let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone. Only one stock is there. Let's go back. Quarterly time frame, let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone. So one stock is there in the quarterly supply zone. Let's go back. Next one is monthly time frame. So stocks near monthly demand zone. So only one stock is there. And monthly time frame, stocks near monthly supply zone. Two stocks are filtered. Next one is weekly time frame. Stocks near weekly demand zone. So three stocks are filtered near weekly demand zone. Let's go back. Weekly time frame. Let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone. Three stocks are filtered which are near to the weekly supply zone. Now daily time frame, stocks near daily demand zone, we identified seven stocks. So let us check any high liquidity demand zones from this list. This is PS demand zones, PS zones we don't trade. TZ is a normal demand zone. PS. So we didn't have any high liquidity demand zones from daily time frame. Now let's go back. Daily time frame, stocks near daily supply zone. Let us filter. So 11 stocks are filtered. Let us check any high liquidity supply zones. So this is one high liquidity supply zone. DLF is there, already tested two times and three rejections also there. 
and this is the fresh zone excite industries this is a counter trend trade setup zone supply zones we have only two one is dlf which is already tested and another one is excite industries so let's go back now entry time frame is 125 minutes stocks near 125 minutes demand zone so this is the filtered list let's go back 125 minutes time frame stocks near 125 minutes supply zone so eight zones are filtered let's go back now let us generate for 75 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone so 10 stocks are filtered let us find any high liquidity demand 75 minutes demand zones are there so normal demand zone normal normal no high liquidity 75 minutes demand zones we did not find any high liquidity 75 minutes demand zone let us check for the supply zone 75 minutes time frame stocks near 75 minutes supply zone 10 stocks are filtered this is in the indices nifty reality let us leave that so we have dr reddy is there this is a high liquidity supply zone and we have mfsl this is also a fresh zone high liquidity supply zone so we have identified only two high liquidity supply zones one is dr reddy's and another one is mfsl okay now let's go back to 25 minutes time frame stocks near 25 minutes demand zone so this is the filtered list now let's go back 25 minutes time frame let us filter the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone these five stocks are filtered so let's go back next to 15 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone the six stocks are filtered so let's go back 15 minutes time frame stocks near 15 minutes supply zone these four stocks are filtered let's go back the last time frame is 5 minutes stocks near 5 minutes demand zone these eight stocks are filtered so let's go back 5 minutes time frame stocks near 5 minutes supply zone so these 10 stocks are filtered so these are all the stocks near demand and supply zones for different time frames i hope this information is useful to you for your further study and analysis so let us all meet again in our next video tomorrow thank you